Mike Benner has been on the scene for us all afternoon. Let's get right to Mike, who's been talking to witnesses there. And Mike, one was able to record video of that critical moment when gunfire erupted. Yeah, that's right, Laurel, and we will show you that video, and we want to warn everyone at home, it is graphic. But first, let me step out of the way and give you a look here at the scene. You'll notice the gold car right there that law enforcement was after. It's surrounded by cruisers from the Clackamas County Sheriff's Office and the Canby and Wilsonville Police Departments. Those cruisers uh, now being removed from the scene. Uh, but speaking of Wilsonville PD, the scene right here is just feet from the front door of the Wilsonville Police Headquarters. Cell phone video capturing some tense moments in Wilsonville Tuesday afternoon. Sheriff's deputies and police officers with guns drawn surround a car near the corner of Wilsonville Road and Town Center Loop East. This plays out for approximately a minute before at least one of the officers shoots towards the car with two people reportedly inside. Oh my God. Uh, I was shaking. I called my husband. I was scared. This is the woman who said, oh my God, in that video. She wanted to remain anonymous, but also share with us what she saw. I saw the cops with their guns drawn, pointing it at the car, and then I heard shots go off. It's unclear what led up to the shooting, but we can tell you it involved a chase. A guy by the name of Stephen Greenhaw capturing this video of law enforcement chasing a gold-colored sedan down Wilsonville Road. By the time Greenhaw turned around and caught back up to the chase, it had ended in that gunfire we told you about. Greenhaw then recorded this video of law enforcement providing first aid to at least one person. From what I know, the suspect's still alive from what I saw in the video that I took. Um, they've just had this whole area blocked down ever since. That allows the major crimes team to investigate what exactly happened and why. What is clear is that people in Wilsonville are in disbelief. Crazy for little Wilsonville. Yeah, not doesn't happen much around here, so I'm glad it stopped here and not closer to the schools. And regarding those Wilsonville schools, we are told they never had to go into lockdown during this incident. As for the people inside the gold car, no word on their conditions. And as for the deputies and officers involved in this incident, in all likelihood, they have been put on leave, which is standard protocol.